Hey, it's Andre and it's time for another Friday Flying Update, because this weekend's a wet one. This thing on 4S must be stellar. <laughs> Happy on! Yeah, last weekend was beautiful. Finally, first time getting out flying in such a long time, and then this weekend is just wet and windy and just disgusting. So that means the bench has been pulled out because I want to work on the sweet wings. The juggernaut and flinch are it's just, it, it's time to do them. But last weekend, I had so much fun. Got out and I flew the Alpha for the first time, and I had a lot of fun flying this airplane, but ran into an issue. I kept overloading the ESC or overheating it, so I'm gonna actually pull it from the bay, stick it on the outside or inside one of these ducts and get it going. But this thing was awesome to fly with. I actually found it a little docile compared to my arrow, a little slower, and that was after I dropped from the six inch prop down to the five inch, and even then I still was running into an issue where I was just pushing the system just a little too hard. So like I said, I'm gonna relocate the ESC, and then I'm gonna bind this thing up to the uh, orange six channel that I picked up from a friend, and uh, I think this airplane is docile enough that James should be able to fly this because it's it just handles so well. I mean, these STEM kids just did such a phenomenal job. The Bravo is going to get a 4S setup, I do believe, because I've got a couple motors and, and things at my disposal here that I can really punch that up. And the Charlie, I got two 65 or 64 millimeter EDF motors. I'm really thinking they're going to be awesome in this thing. So. We'll see what happens, but for now, I'm, I'm impressed, and I really enjoyed flying this airplane, so i got to get James out and see what he thinks about it flying, because I think it's one of those airplanes that he can go, and it just, it just, it's so maneuverable. It doesn't have to be going, like, a million miles an hour and everything, so well done, that flight test on the STEM group. That was a pretty amazing piece of kit. Also, like as I mentioned, maidens and brand new flying experiences. The 3D Lab Print Spitfire was crazy good. Uh, I think I've got the weight up front a little too aggressively set up, um, so I'm going to pull that motor mount piece I had printed and try and pull the weight back from that. So I think I was a little too nose heavy, but comparing I'm running only uh, you know a 300 odd watt, uh, 1000 kV motor on a 9x6, I think it moved pretty good. The elevator setup was a little That's touchy, a little sensitive. Uh, I'm dialing that back and we'll continue that. So the next piece of work is to reduce the weight overall. The same guy that designed the, uh, the exhaust stacks has taken my idea for the um, the uh, battery mount and made a tapered one. So that means the battery should, in theory, sit even further forward. So, uh, like I said, for now, my goal is to, uh, you know, reduce the weight and keep flying it. And no, I'm not going to crash test this poor thing to death. Actually, I'm going to fly it. I'm going to fly it aggressively like I always do, but I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to endurance run this thing very much like the uh, the FT spit um, um, eraser that I put together. I'm going to just run it and run it as hard and as often as I can because I want to see how durable these things are and if the reality is that 3D printed airplanes are the way of the future. Maybe they are for as far as the hobbyist goes and the scratch building goes. Right now I'm printing parts on the uh, ANET A8 and I'm, uh, for the Stearman and we're going to continue building that airplane and we'll see where this all goes. Actually, I'm... I'm um, I'm trying a new filament uh, from Amaze 3D, and I'm having to tweak my settings a little bit to deal with that stuff because I was having lifting issues and everything that I hadn't had earlier. So right now um, I'm doing the uh, tail section and the rudder for the Stearman because uh, I had a whole bunch of them. If you looked at some of my social media photos, I'd done the whole tail thing and two pieces knocked off and it made a whole mess. So. That's coming, 3D planes, you know, I'm gonna have fun with them, I'm gonna print a few, and I'm just gonna fly them. I'm really happy that I'm able to use a, uh, you know, the same scratch build setup I've been flying with for the last couple of years because the batteries are the, the cheaper 25C, 3S, 2200 Zippy Compacts, 1000 kV motor, 35 amp ESC, so pretty low dollar, but obviously sustainable so and I know I'm not going to blow anything up I could put a hotter motor in there but then I got to put the bigger batteries in there and so on and so on and so on so this is pretty cool if this works out because you know this whole plane is you know I've got what fifty dollars in parts in it and it's good from flying and I've got a ton of those batteries because it's what I started with so I could fly something like this all day long on to the uh, sweet wing products yeah 
I'm going to start uh, thinking about my paint colors. So obviously, you got the yellow, the peacock, and the black, and I think I've got an idea of the scheme. All I have to do now is get back into Ruben's videos on YouTube, figure out where the servos go, put those in, sink in some of the other equipment, like the AV stuff, and obviously cut the uh, ailerons to spec and set all of that up, and then it's paint and laminate. And this goes for the juggernaut and obviously the flinch. So I'm really excited about flying these guys this summer. These are going to be my main FPV, FPV platform. Obviously, I've got the uh, the arrow and so on, but uh, I think these two wings will be the big one. And then after that, it's obviously tuning up a couple of the airplanes and obviously FPV-wise, that airplane, the extra. So uh, Chris and I did a podcast last night with our good friend Stuart, who, uh, who announced last week that he is departing from Hobby King. So it was a pretty good sit-down chat with Stuart and just talk about his career and everything. And I'm sure we'll have him back on the, our podcast just to keep talking and keep that conversation going. Stuart, um, I wish you best of luck in all your future endeavors. Uh, you know, I, I applaud you for uh, making that decision, which I know was a hard one to make. Um, but like you said, time was uh, a change was needed in your life. So, hey, and please, you know where to find me. Let's keep that conversation conversation going because uh, you're, you're a true enthusiast, a true hobbyist, and, and it's just been really nice to get to know you. So, uh, and yeah, so this weekend, it's all about bench time. I'm uh, kind of keen and uh, excited that I pulled the bench out because I always need that end room and figured, what the heck, let's get going. 3D printing is going to be going all weekend, doing a little building, having a little fun. I just, you know, I can't wait. Uh, it's It's been a fun couple of days. I'm really stoked that this turned out well and flew as um better than i thought it would so <sighs> everybody thank you for watching 1600 plus subscribers this week or today actually so that is superb i'm so enthusiastic just i'm over the moon happy so hey thank you very much have a fantastic weekend cheers <laughs>